Hi there, I'm in Talgarth today. Um, the sun's come out, which is nice. And the hill behind the church there is called the park. And that's the one we're attempting to do. Um, it's an official hill listed online. So, um, just trying to get out of the actual sort of village up onto the, the, uh, the, the path that goes up onto the hill, which I've spent about 10 minutes trying to find. I can't find it. So I'll catch you in a sec. So I finally found the footpath and um, just got disorientated for some, some reason. That's the church I was at. And this is extremely boggy, this field. Just shows how much rain we've had. Awful. Um, it goes up here through Park Wood and the hill, hill summit is just beyond that. So it should be a straightforward one, but it's extremely boggy. It's horrible at the minute. So this one is called Far Northeast Outliers. So we're in the very far northeast of the Brecon Beacons in the Black Mountains. These are foothills. Um, and there's four in total, so I'm going to do it in two days. And the first one is the park, just up from Talgarth. It's not a park, the hill's called a pa the park. And then the one after this is called Hay Forest the Elf. So, two today, so I've got time for. Uh, see you in a sec. This is pleasant. Lovely warm sunshine now. It rained this morning. And um, walk through this lovely flowering, yellow flowering crop. Feels very spring like. So, we're almost at the wood now. A nice views over to Monmouth Troyd, which looks quite high from here. Right, I'm going to plow on literally through this bog. Horrible actually, but we'll get there. So this is amongst the worst mud I've ever walked in. No joke. There's sliding everywhere. I mean, a nightmare coming down that. Might try an alternate route. I thought this hill would be easy, but at the moment it's it's more. Fuck! God, I've just gone up to my ankle in mud. It's harder than Pen and Van by by a hundred times. It's just this mud. Okay. Right, I've got to try and just plow through it. See you in a bit. So, um, at the gate onto the hilltop now. Oh, that was horrendous. You can just see it all here. There's mud. It was pretty steep going up there as well. There's a bench here with a nice memorial to someone. So, I'll say a thought for them. And oh, thank God that bench is here. I have to sit and, um, and uh, just flop on here for a few minutes. I think. Oh God. This is a wonderful view here. Black Mountains, the North Escarpment. Beautiful. Especially good view of Ross Dirian. Really good. The hilltop is just here. Another little climb to do, but almost there. So we're at the summit, and it's marked by this thing. Whatever this is, it's all like water can tank or something. Oh, God. knackery. It's only a small one, but views are cracking to be fair. Hay Bluff, Lord Hereford's Knob, Ross Dirian there in the middle. Um, Manoth uh, Bachan, I think it's called, Idas. And then the uh, wine vac, dragon's back, uh, Norman Castle, Castle uh, Dinnis, and then Mullith Troyd. Amazing views to be fair, it was worth the slog and the bogginess. My um, friend Mark, the Y Explorer, he did a, a walk recently from um, Glassbury to Hay on Wye. It's a good video if you like these parts, and um, the views are similar. Um, really amazing views. Right, we're going to get down onto the next one.
So we're just coming down into um, Talgarth now, and you can see all this huge amount of runoff. But yeah, it's, obviously it's just rained dead loads recently. So, um, the way down, we went through two boggy farmer's fields and um, hopped two barbed wire fences. So yeah, I'm gonna call that one the park, but no walk in the park. There you go. Right, we'll drive to the next start point now. See you in a sec. So it's lovely down there, the sort of river gorge, but we're on this path that's taken freight sort of ages. It's kind of a forest track, really. Get cars like four by fours and things down here, lorries and things. But yeah, fairly dull so far. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, the website. Um, there's one outdooractive.com and all trails, that was the other one. So it lists all the different summits on there. They're on the OS map as well, obviously, but they're on various like apps and websites as well. So we'll um, crack on a bit longer and I'll, um, I'll bring you back. There's a cool view of a waterfall here. It's quite an impressive one, actually. Yeah. Can't see brilliantly through the branches, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Right, there's a hairpin bend here. So I'll have a look at the map and hopefully that'll help navigate me a bit. See you in a sec. So we've reached a fest of mud and bog and it's constantly trying to slip me into the middle. That's really horrible walking. <laughs> I nearly fell over. God, this is horrible. Amongst the worst all year, absolutely vile. So we've taken a track, try, think, try, thinking it'd be drier because it's higher up, but it's even worse. Views of the Black Mountains. Um, Lord Hereford's knob there. Not very good views from here. Um, I think I'm gonna, the, the map says the summit's just here. So I think I'm gonna off piste it, which is gonna be a bit rough, um, but get up there and, and I think that's gonna be the quickest route. Some better views here of Ross Dirian. Quite very impressive actually from this angle. Look at sheer sort of face. Yeah, it looks cool. Just struggling to cross this up onto here. But I'm gonna have a look, see what we've got. Well, I'm almost there, it's just there. I'm walking through a bloody Christmas tree plantation. Oh, knackered as well, man. So boggy and difficult. Really hard walking. Okay, almost there, last push. Okay, so we've just got out of that crap managed to find a gap in the wire but there's nice views from Monmouth Troyd and the Black Mountains there, Lord Hereford's Knob. So this is the, the summit area we're going to cross over in a sec. So we're on the unmarked summit or the hilltop hay forest now. It was a ball lake to get up here but the views are good. here and get down on the road the other side because I think uh, there's no way I want to go back down that way to come up. So I should have definitely come up this way. It's a nice for public footpath sign, nice dry forest track. I always do this. I always go completely the wrong way. But forest is nice out the wind as well, dry. Anyway, this should lead us to the road and then we we'll sweep back round to Valindra on a nice dry road as a circular walk.